Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 2016 Writers Guild Awards. <laughs> well, congratulations on your honor tonight. Thank you. And, uh, you know, we were looking through everything at Max Headroom. From my years growing up, that was such an iconic show. And it, we're kind of living in a Max Headroom kind of world now. We are. Where our log line was 15 minutes into the future, and it's actually five seconds now with, with the Snapchat, you know. So, yeah, it's one, it was one of my favorite projects. I wish we'd run for years. It was just the most, re what was the best of times? It was the worst of times. But it was just a wonderful thing to do, work on. And I loved it. Well, I also love that you worked on variety shows for so long. Um, did you have a particular favorite? Because I was like, Tony and Don, Cher, uh, Richard Pryor, I, iconic figures in both comedy and in music as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things about that is you get a guest star comes in, and you have five seconds to figure that person out, what they're going to be able to do and not do, and might make them happy. And you write to them, and that's such a challenge. I just love that part of it. And then you've got the stars themselves who are wonderful. I mean, they're, they're the real deal. There they are. Uh, but Richard Pryor, I think, was my favorite because he, he loved writers. He trusted writers. He respected writers so much. And the fact that he would trust us to say, okay, you know, why don't you do this? And he'd say, well, okay. And then he would, he would take it and just make it much better than we ever could imagine. So I did enjoy it. And look who we had. We had Robin Williams. We had Tim Reed. We had Marsha Warfield. We just had such a cast. You know, I know and, and that sort of era of variety shows was just incredible. We were at the SAG Awards you know, with, with Carol Burnett, and it just was so amazing being in the same room with her. She's something else. And Cher, what a hard worker, you know. And, and Lucille Ball came in to do one of her final pieces on that show. And you see what these old people can do and how much they know and how simple they make it. And you just stand in awe and say, I wonder if I'll ever be able to do that. You know, It was wonderful. Do you think we'll ever see any of that simplicity sort of come back? Because I think sometimes we try and layer things too much now. Well, we do because there are so many layers now. You know. Um, I don't know that, yeah, I, would, I think there's room for variety, uh, but there are different skills now, you know, singing and dancing we can see, everyone can do it, they put it on YouTube, you know, but I, I think people don't get enough of their, their favorite performers, so why not, instead of just American Idol where we're finding somebody new, take all of those American Idol winners and put them on a show, you know. Not a bad idea. You might have a show concept right there. there. I'll, I'll take that right away to my agent. <laughs> Do it right now. We, we caught it on film. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Nice talking Thank with you. you. Thanks for joining us. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and of course, tell us what your favorite script of last year was in the comments below.